After removing the scope from the AER and wiping it down with a lint-free cloth, open up a new package of scope connectors. First, connect the air water suction. Then, cap off the biopsy port. Lastly, connect to the irrigator port. The scope is now ready to be moved to the dry scope aid cabinet. After the connectors have been attached, hang the scope in your cabinet. Take the tubing that corresponds to the hanger where you placed the endoscope and attach it to the connector by threading it on. Once the top connectors have been hooked up, move to the bottom manifold and attach the tubing that corresponds to the hanger and top manifold where you placed the endoscope and attach it to the connector by threading it on. After all connections have been made, press the mode button. The lights will turn solid amber, indicating that the scope is in the queue to be dried. The lights will start flashing amber, indicating that the scope has started the drying process. When the scope has completed the drying process, the lights will turn solid blue. When you are ready to use the endoscope for another procedure, disconnect the tubing from the irrigating port. Secure the tubing in the tubing guide and remove the single-use connector from the endoscope. Continue the same process at the top manifold. Remove the air-water suction connector and unthread it from the tubing. Secure the tubing in the tubing guide. Remove the biopsy port connector. Discard the single-use connectors. Press the mode button, which will clear the lights and open up a position for the next endoscope.